along this side. And then booths over here. Reflections on the river. I've been memorized by the inherent duality of the water, the serenity of its stillness against the power of its motion, its ability to bring vitality and or destruction to everything it touches. So inside of the uh, Mill City Museum, people are encouraged to write what the river makes them feel on these little, uh, little pieces here. And you can either draw a picture or write something and then hang it up along the fence share with people who are walking by and contribute to the project. Different booths, the donuts, and the lemonade looking like the popular ones right now. you can contribute to. Uh, you can also do tours of the museum. Over here we have some milling going on, showing how they used to ground down flour. Check out the festival. Down here, there's different community booths, organizations, as well as a lot of artists selling their work, creative crafts, photography, art, all sorts of different things. And just having an understanding of how far the festival extends, I'm not gonna be able to take the time to show off each individual booth but there is a lot of cool stuff in the different booths you'll get a general idea of what's going on but not exactly what's in each one booth is very popular. I know they uh, they attend the state fair and they're one of the popular booths there. They see an April. 
is one of the ones that I can vouch for being pretty yummy. Swing dancing and every kind of dancing lessons here. like much of the festival itself at the Stone Arch Festival is on the Stone Arch Bridge, more so around it. is where does the smoothie line end and the fish and chips line start? 
I guess there's got to be, I don't know. <laughs> Looks like they join into each other. Maybe get a little bit of both. Michael Rainville out here. Now we know, now we're like, oh, all right. Little lull in the uh, activity here next to Huamni, which has opened up again. I think we walked by here when there was flooding going on, or not flooding, but yeah, flooding, but heavy flow on the Mississippi. And that place was closed after a fire that they had. And they've opened up, opened back up, I want to say two weeks or so ago. Back in business. Really just a great showing today. Fantastic to see this many people out and about in Minneapolis, in downtown, enjoying a lot of the work of some creative people in a beautiful city, getting some good food, listening to some people play some music, enjoying time with friends. Quick look around at the Mississippi River before we head up the next batch of booths and everything. This is the Central Avenue Bridge, still being renovated. And the Hennepin Bridge up there.
The booths just keep coming. There's so much to see. One of those things to where if you really wanted to give each artist and jeweler, I guess jewelers are artists too, each artist and person the time that their work deserves, it would take hours and hours to walk through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was just back before the last one. Got the uh, lemonade line here. Both sides of the lemon booth. Wait for a minute because it's really busy up here. Good people watching. Good to meet you. Lots of spinny wheels. People love the spinny wheels. You spin the wheel, you win a prize. So north of the Hennepin Bridge here, which we are heading in underneath and into this new area is like the more culinary section. Different foods that people are selling, sauces, all kinds of stuff. Hat sauce. Culinary Arts Market, that's what they're calling it.
You got a green belt beer sign. Lemonade and fresh donuts. I had one of these donuts earlier and some of the lemonade. The donut was good. Lemonade was okay. I'd probably try another lemonade just to see if there's something better somewhere else in one of the other booths. The beer line. Habanero's tacos, that truck's always good. Worth checking out. Don't we have to leave? Huh? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Live music stages down here. This was actually where I uh, had to uh, turn back with my family earlier, so all this stuff I'll be seeing from here on out is first time experience for me. So. Who knows what's ahead? junk mail. It's kind of a cool concept. Because you can balance on the tip of the brush, <laughs> or you can squish out the paint. <laughs> <laughs> 
But you guys will look so much better in the photo than me. Just saying. They can't see There was a, uh, a poster in that booth back there that was from the Cure, the Cure show at the XL Energy Center in St. Paul last week. And it was all over the internet because people were dragging it because the whoever had designed it had put it down as a Minneapolis stop. And you can't call St. Paul Minneapolis. Can't call Minneapolis St. Paul. It might be twin cities, but the names cannot be used interchangeably or you'll do some serious stepping on some toes. Minneapolis, I believe, is the, you know, has the bigger skyline, a little more populated city. St. Paul obviously has the, uh, has the state capital there. So both cities have great stuff going for them. And should be respected. We got the car show collection. Car show section collection. Of the Stone Art Festival. Of the Art and Car Show. and then the playground up here which I believe is actually a great playground just on a regular day bring the kids out to got a really good uh, some really good activities and I think this is the end of the festival here and then we'll turn back I'm just gonna walk up to this sign here I don't know what the name of this park is. Uh, Fourth Avenue North Playground. That's what I was looking for. Uh, so this road here will connect you over to North Loop. Uh, it does have four hour parking available there, which if you're looking for parking hacks in different neighborhoods, if you're coming to grab lunch in North Loop, you can park in that four hour parking without having to pay. Pay for a meter. Now at the motorplex. Yeah. Okay. 
Right, so that's the uh, the distance of the of the festival. Definitely a reasonable walk for the average person, but I could see that being kind of a long walk if you're not looking to get too far. And it is a straight path as opposed to a loop. So when you're walking end to end, you do have to keep in mind that if you're all the way down at Mill Ruins Park and want to walk up to the car show, you're going to have to find a way all the way back to your bike or car, or maybe you took the bus and you can just hop on at a different bus stop. But always like a nice loop over a directional walk, but I think the concept of having everybody brought into this space along the riverfront makes it feel more populated, makes it a little more fun just shows what the potential we do have for different events here in the city. I'm gonna uh, keep walking back towards the other end of the festival. I might grab a snack somewhere. If I do, I'll probably cut off the video. So thank you for watching. If you saw anything that looked cool, let me know. Any booth that you know somebody who's got their art up here mention them in the comments we'll check out their art and we'll follow the links and hopefully people can see some of the cool stuff that people are bringing out here um, yeah appreciate you watching the video let's uh enjoy a little bit of a walk back before i get out of here There's a booth that I wanted to look at earlier that I forgot about. So I'm gonna go check this out right now.
Federal Reserve Bank booth here. You pick your picture on a hundred dollar bill. <laughs> boat coming by on the river. Looks like a nice day to be out on the river there. I think I will go ahead and cut off the video here. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are.
I hope you're enjoying the video and I hope you got a nice glimpse into the Stone Arch Bridge Festival or Stone Arch Festival here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Thank you for watching.